capital city has already seen its share of violence this year, including the largest shooting in Providence's history. As the end of the school year approaches, local leaders in two nearby cities came together today. 12 News reporter Courtney Carter has the details on what they want to do to make sure that kids and teens have a, have a meaningful and positive summer experience. Courtney? The cities of Central Falls and Pawtucket announced new nonviolence programs today in an effort, they say, to give kids and teens other opportunities as summer months are approaching. Central Falls Mayor Maria Rivera kicked off a news conference Thursday in front of Central Falls High School. She wants to make sure that city youth have something to do once the last school bell rings in the hopes they don't turn to violence. Rivera announcing a number of new programs in place after teaming up with the city of Pawtucket. They are also hiring a new full-time nonviolent outreach specialist who will work directly in the cities. And building important relationships with at-risk youth to referring violence impacted youth and their families to resources in the community like employment, school, housing, food. The two cities also partnering with the Nonviolence Institute to launch a seven week nonviolent summer program where students will receive nonviolence training in addition to resume building, workshops, career building opportunities, and paid internships. Over my years as mayor in the city of Pawtucket, we've had a lot of tragedies that we reflect on. All of them are unnecessary. There are alternatives out there. This all comes on the same day that three organizations, Brown University, the Rhode Island Foundation, and the Partnership for Rhode Island announced their joint contribution of $500,000 to the Nonviolence Institute. Uh, availing those resources to our young people who so desperately, so desperately need an outlet. The City of Central Falls announced a new website today to allow people to see the list of opportunities available for this summer. You can find it on WPRI.com. In Central Falls, I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News. Courtney, thank you.